Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I stated in that very first video of this series that you could take this font and turn that down to make it look closer to your font that you're trying to copy. So this is really pretty easy. Let's grab our font I've already done. And as always, I would make a duplicate of that, control D, and I'm just going to nudge it up a couple inches. I'm going to take our font, and I'm going to left click, no fill, right click, hairline. I'm going to make a duplicate of it, control D, and I'm going to move it down two inches. Matter of fact, that's not really important, so we're going to move it up, keep it in the screen. And then I would take my just a two-point line. And somewhere about right in here, draw a line. In the approximate same place, draw a line. Take your Smart Fill tool and fill in that bottom section and fill up the top section of the other one. Now we can take these and move them out of the way, our Smart Fill. And I like looking at it in basically wireframe, but... Uh, hairline so let's uh, grab both of them and left click right click take your new item and mirror it and then let's zoom in here a little bit let's grab our pick tool and let's grab that node right there and move that node to that node then let's double click on it and move our rotation to that node and then just rotate it around that's a little bit much. Let's go about right in there. doesn't really matter. You're trying to make it look like the original font. Now I'm going to set my nudge distance on 0 .001. And I'm going to nudge this thing over to the left. And then up to the right. To the lines kind of meet. They're a little bit off, but we'll fix that. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete those two inner lines. Now, we've got double lines right there, but we can fix that. Then, take your Smart Fill tool and fill it in. Move this new Smart Fill away. Left click on No Fill. Right click on Hairline. And you can see those triple nodes right there. You can when you back out. Let's just see if we can just delete them. It didn't change the curvature or any. Now, also on the original font, the uh, end of it is a little bit more pointed, and we got a blunt in here. So take your shape tool and select both those nodes, and they're already to a curve, I can tell. We don't have to do anything to them, and then just grab off of the two nodes and bring that one down to your liking. We could even maybe delete that node, and it did not change anything. Now we'll take our Smart Fill tool again. We don't really have, you wouldn't have to, but that way you'll know that it, it's all solid. It kind of works like the, the Weld tool. Let's get our old letter out of the way. And let's, well, that's the one I did. Here's the original. Let's control K and break it apart. And let's get that old letter away and bring in that new letter. So now you have a font, control G to group them together. You have a font that's closer. Let's make it yellow so we can see it. Let's zoom in here. And now your new font more closely resembles the font you're trying to recreate. You could still play around with this, doing the exact same thing in a way. Just manipulate some nodes. But at least you have a downward spiral where before we had an up to the L. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.